The Defense Ministry on Sunday released its latest video footage of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant shot from a ground self-defense force helicopter. We have an expert's analysis on what can be ascertained from this latest footage. This is a film capture from the southern part of the site. This is an aerial image of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The ground self-defense forces had dispatched a helicopter and disclosed an aerial footage that has been taken shortly before 10 a.m. yesterday over a 20-minute period. This is reactor number one. With the uh, helium hydrogen explosion, the roof has caved in. This is reactor number two. A part of the wall has crumbled, and we see vapor-like white smoke emitted from the top. And also, uh, the opening has uh, in the rooftop has also a forced vapor to escape. This is reactor number three. Because of the vapor, it is impossible to confirm uh, what is happening inside. Because of the hydrogen explosion, uh, only the steel frame remains of the upper shell of the building. Vapor is being emitted. We talked to Dr. Naoto Sakimi of Tokyo University, and he has pointed out that the crane that has been used to transport the fuel has dropped as the ceiling caved in. He talks about the instrument that hangs from the crane, which has apparently fallen on the nuclear fuel rods, and there is likelihood that the fuel has been damaged and the radioactive material may have been released as a consequence, and that likelihood cannot be denied. This is reactor number four. The walls have came in, and we see vapor gushing out from various openings. The green equipment is the crane, and the yellow a spherical object it appears to be the, f the lid of the containment vessel. The yellow object is the lid, the upper lid of the containment vessel. Reactor number four was undergoing periodic inspection and therefore the lid has been opened with the hydrogen explosion. However, it is unlikely to believe that the explosion itself has dislodged the lid. What we see here, this is red. This is the equipment that is injecting water. We see a vapor being emitted. And this suggests that in reactor number four, there is water in the spent fuel pool. Earlier, NHK World's Yoshiki Yamasaki gave us his analysis of the current situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Now, the puddle in the number two reactor um, detected a high reading of the radioactive substances. And why is this? Well, the nuclear reactor seems to be the um, source of this water. And the reason is the nuclear fuel must have been damaged. And there are some radioactive substances that emit from those um, nuclear fuels. And also the high reading of a radioactive substances. Well, if we consider this, it seems that there is some kind of a damage and the water must have leaked out um, and has arrived to the turbine building. So the situation is changing day by day in this uh, nuclear power plant. And could you once again uh, explain what is happening in each of the reactor? Yes, first of all, number one reactor. First of all, regarding the water leaked, they will be um, they are being rec uh, collected in the condenser, um, and they have increased the number of pumps t from one to three and they're trying to recover the water and uh, pressure and temperature remain slightly higher so the situation remains unstable and as for number two reactor regarding the water leaked out from here they're right now thinking how to collect the water that is leaked out where to collect water is not being determined yet and the good news is that for number two reactor 
the uh, poor vest stores um, spend fuel or nuclear fuel. Um, they have a substance, substantial amount of water, so the nuclear fuels are, have not been exposed. And number three, reactor. Yes, we did find the leakage of radioactive water, and they haven't found out yet where and how to um, collect those water. And for number four reactor, there is no uh, fuel in the nuclear uh, reactor, so that's a good news. And the good news is also that um, the nuclear fuels are in submerged in the water, so um, they're not exposed. In the meantime, TEPCO has asked independent research centers to check if radioactive substances from the nuclear power plant contain highly toxic plutonium. The plant continues to emit radioactive materials that may include plutonium, which is manufactured in the reactors. So far, the utility firm has not detected the material through its own methods. The company took soil samples from the plant's compound last week and sent them to the Japan Atomic Energy Agency and the Japan Chemical Analysis Center for examination. The company says it's, it expects the results will be available within several days. Plutonium is formed at power plants that use conventional uranium fuel. The number three reactor of the Fukushima plant uses mixed oxide fuel or MOX fuel which contains uranium blended with plutonium extracted from spent nuclear fuel. Experts say radioactivity from plutonium is not absorbed by human skin. It can be blocked with paper to prevent breathing it in. But if the substance is inhaled or ingested, it remains in the body for a long time and can cause cancer. The power company plans to conduct checks twice a week to determine if the plant's soil is contaminated with the material.